the roof of the world. The Himalayas. Reaching more than four miles above sea level, with little oxygen and freezing temperatures, these are the highest peaks on the planet. Until recently, it was thought only one cat could cope with life at extreme altitude. And they've got wider noses than other leopards to help heat the chilled air before it reaches the lungs. Snow leopards are endangered. Their numbers have dropped by 20% in the last two decades due to poaching and loss of prey. Now there could be as few as 4,000 snow leopards left in the wild. But because they are found in such remote, inaccessible places, numbers are really hard to estimate. In Nepal, a team of high-altitude scientists are setting up remote cameras to try and monitor them. Trekking to nearly three miles above sea level, this is one of the highest snow leopard surveys ever undertaken. Are proof they are even breeding at this altitude. For biologist Ganga Ram Regne, it's exciting news. This is the first time we captured three babies and one mother in a single camera frame. But then, something most unexpected happens. A furry-looking cat with a strong resemblance to Garfield pops up on camera. It just walked down in front of the camera. It just uh, playing on the ground. It's a cat never seen before in Nepal. High in the Himalayas, Scientists tracking snow leopards make a bizarre discovery. A mysterious cat with an uncanny resemblance to Garfield nearly three miles above sea level. Is it a baby snow leopard or a completely new species of cat in Nepal? Biologist Tashi Gale is baffled. In the beginning, I didn't know, like, uh, we saw, like, a small uh, leopard. So I posted on Facebook. Gangaram Regne recognizes it immediately. When I saw the photo, then I completely surprised. I did not sleep all night. <laughs> the same evening, many colleagues identified that uh, it's a palace cat. So not a baby leopard, but a palace cat. These furry little felines were known to exist in Mongolia and elsewhere in Central Asia. But no one had any idea they were in Nepal. Or had such a head for heights. The palace cat is one of the oddest looking felines of all. About the same size as a moggy, it has the thickest fur of any cat. With short, stumpy legs, it can't run very fast. but low ears and grey colouring offer excellent camouflage amongst the boulders. The palace cat uses this to its advantage. Peering, or periscoping, over rocks to spot its dinner.
It's the cat's need to always move away from where they are born and establish new territories that have pushed them into ever more remote parts of the planet. There's no greater example than the furry little palace cat high in the Himalayas. From the fireside to the frozen north. From the roof of our homes to the roof of the world. Cats turn up in the most unexpected places. But if you've ever had to try and wash your cat, you'll know there's one thing they hate. Water. Cats can clean themselves and should only be washed on the advice of your vet. Scientists believe they hate getting wet because they evolved from a species of desert living cat that rarely encountered rain. But in the swamps of Sri Lanka, there's one wild cat that busts this age-old myth. It's called the fishing cat. And for biologist Anya Ratanayaka, it beats the big cat's paws down. The first time I saw a fishing cat, I was floored because it was not anything I expected really. Um, because w w growing up, everyone's drilled on the whole big cat, big cat, big cat thing. Kind of felt like somebody was keeping a really big secret from me for a long time. So, um, so that's when I realized that, forget the leopard, I mean, who cares about them? Um, let's start working with the small guys. So Anya started tracking fishing cats in the swamps around Sri Lanka's capital, Colombo. Fishing cats are generally a wetland species. They depend on a water body. So where we are right now is perfect fishing cat habitat. Lots of fish around, really good cover limited human interaction in here, so it's just great for the cats. So where there are fish, there should be a fishing cat. About the size of a spaniel, they have a stocky build and a thick set neck. and their champion anglers. Three quarters of their diet is fish and crustaceans. But what's really clever is how they catch fish in murky water without even seeing them. They use their whiskers it's a trick also used by our pet cats. Cats have excellent long distance vision, but anything less than 30 centimeters away appears blurred. So when it comes to delivering the deadly bite, they're not using their eyes, but their whiskers. In a split second, they throw them forward to surround the prey. Each of the whiskers works out the exact orientation of the mouse, so they can make a clean kill. The fishing cat does exactly the same thing, but underwater. Dipping their whiskers into the river, they sense tiny currents as fish swim past. 
so they can swipe dinner without even seeing it. It's one of the secrets of this myth-busting cat. People generally think that cats hate water, but fishing cats have a semi-aquatic lifestyle, so they're very adapted to water. But in the jungles of South America, one big cat has taken its love of water to even greater depths. It's often said, cats hate water. But in South America, one big cat loves to take a dip. The jaguar. Weighing up to 100 kilos, they are the biggest cat in the Americas. And are brilliant swimmers. This might look like doggy paddle, but these powerful predators can swim hundreds of meters across rivers. In captivity, they've even been known to dive underwater in search of food, holding their breath for more than 30 seconds. In the wild, they could use these subaqua skills to hunt turtles and fish. They are the world's most impressive free-diving felines. While some cats have embraced a watery life, for others it poses a challenge. Our pet cats and their wild cousins communicate and find mates through smell. Scent marking lets other cats know they're around and looking for love. But in the jungle, where a meter of rain can fall in a single month, these scent marks are constantly washed away. <laughs> 